that uh, in Mr. Lannis's absence that Mr. Antonin would ask Jim's questions? Let's give him a really tough one, Jim. Council, uh, some of the questions from the there's an expanded list of questions for you from what you had the last time. Uh -huh. um, part of that is um, you have reappointment <coughs> questions, for instance, on the Planning Commission. Some, your first two candidates will be reappointments, so the questions will be different oh, um, in your packet um, versus for new candidates, where your third candidate is new. Um, where uh, two weeks ago when we looked at questions, um, the uh, we had just some general questions for new applicants and people that were serving on different commissions. So you might see some different questions, so you may want to go through and decide how you want yeah, to uh, look at those. As well, Mr. Mayor just mentioned on the ballot, uh, the ballot's a little different. It's still the ranked balloting, but there is a category at the end. Um, where if you choose that a candidate you don't believe would fill a good role on that commission, the, the far right column would be any candidate you would put in that particular column. And then if a candidate receives three, three or more votes of no appointment, they would then not be recommended by staff for being on that commission. All right. And so the first three interviews are uh, all Planning Commission interviews. And um, later on in the evening, uh, we do have another Planning Commission interview. Um, and so three of those four are all people who are currently serving. And so. Um, reappointment we, questions then, in other words? Yeah, there are some reappointment questions. Happens to be five of them. For the <clears throat> Mr. Mayor, for the Planning Commission, uh, I was thinking I would take the the question that I was suggesting the last time, um, and if you recall that the extent of the knowledge one. No, it was the the, the new, oh the training the one. new one about training. Yeah, and I can ask that of both of current and former, or current and okay. uh, new. Couldn't we combine, um, under the reappointment questions, you could actually combine one and five if you really wanted to. It's just different angles of the same thing. Well, so it seems to me that because um, there are some of the seems like one in five though. Um, one is asking about the group, and the other is asking about the individual. Mm-hmm. I get it. That's why I said two different angles of the same basic thing. Well, yeah. Yeah, that could definitely be combined. I don't like to do that. Well, so um, we have Mr. Nephew going to ask about the training part. And if we combined three and four together for sure, let's see. So, one, okay, then I'll take number one on a reappointment, unless somebody else really wants it. That's fine. And even though we could combine them together, I'd take five. And uh, so, of the questions that are before us. Marv, in the reappointment category, um, that would leave a combined three and four, mm -hmm. or a question number two. Either of those, look, whatever. That Tell me which one you want me to have. <laughs> that was not on here. Okay. Number three? Well, well, three four. You get three and four then. Okay. And how about for the new candidates? 
Well, we're getting to that. So that would leave um, two for <coughs> Jim, see. whoever. Yeah, that would leave yeah, <laughs> one, gym of, the, one, one of the gyms yes. asking question two. And then we do have one new candidate. Um, and so Mr. Nephew would still be asking the training question. I could do the combined three and four. The combined under the questions for new candidates? Yeah. No. Well, yeah, because three is not, I mean, four is not really a question. <laughs> oh. So you, you would be asking about the understanding of the role of the Planning Commission and then also just making sure they can be there. Right. Okay. And, uh, uh, Mr. Mayor? Yes. When it comes to new candidates, um, if, uh, if you're willing, I could add question number one to the question that I'm going to be asking. Okay. Right. Just we, we may have, okay. we may take a little more time with, with new people. And, Um, I could take two and actually throw in a little bit of five under the reappointment question to color it up a little bit. Okay. Got Kathy twoing and fiving. Yes. <laughs> and so um, I always like a question like six, so I think I'll do that one. And. Um, so, that means Jim gets five. Oh, I thought you were doing part of five. No, the lower five I'm doing. If you have been, a, how would you make a difference? I'm going to add on to number two, your training and experience. Okay, so then, or, all right, so I understand now. Okay. And so that leaves uh, number. Question under five under new candidates for one of the gyms. <coughs> so, uh, for the reappointment, Kathy has question number one. Um, Mr. Lanis slash Mr. Antonin <laughs> would have question number two. Um, Mr. Copen would be combining three and four together. And I would have question five, and Mr. Nephew is going to be asking his question that he had uh, put together last time having to do with training. Um, and then under, for the new candidates, um, Mr. Nephew would still be asking about training, but also would throw in uh, a little bit about basic knowledge of planning principles, etc. Uh, Kathy would be doing question number two, but adding just a hint of question number five from reappointments. Yes. <clears throat> Mr. Copen would be combining three and four together uh, about their understanding and whether they can actually come to the meetings. Mr. Lana slash, slash Mr. Antonin would ask question five, and I would ask, ask question six. Easy for you to say. Yes. <laughs> and so that would take care of that, um, and then we have... Uh, also, some police civil service interviews, and so we should look at those. Uh, I'll, I'd like number five. Okay. Four. So, John, you had five? Yes, please. Marv has four. I will take one and combine it with six. Okay. Kathy combining. <laughs> Just to be that difficult. And that.
Well, eight sounds exceptionally complicated, so I'll ask that one. <laughs> and then that would leave two, three, or seven for the gyms. Um, I think two is one of the ones that we asked at the last meeting, so I'd say we should probably have that one included as well. All right. I'm going to take number two. Excuse me? Yeah, you want me to take number two? We've got you on four. Okay, but that's just um, number two. Well, for for uh, Jim. Oh, Jim. <laughs> just since so not we'll here. let the Jims ask question number two under the police civil service applications. And then uh, we will have, yes, ma'am. Um, one of our applicants for police civil service commission is not a reappointment, but has had previous experience on the commission. So you might want to bear that in mind when you're asking your questions. It's more like a deferred reappointment or whatever, because the knowledge base is slightly different. Okay. And then we will have one interview having to do with the Business and Economic Development Commission, <clears throat> which, um, hmm. how different are these from what we well, they're just numbered a little differently, and there's one more. So question number two is the same as the old question number one. Question number three. Yeah, I'll take that because I had two before. So it looks like there's only one question that I can see that is added here. Mm -hmm. And so before, um, Marv had question number four, four, which is now question number five. <laughs> Jim, Jim had question number three, which is now four. <laughs> Kathy had two, which is now three. Jim had uh, one, which is now two. And I, what, apparently I wasn't asking a question? I was asking a general question there, I guess. Mm -hmm. And so I guess I'll take question one. I, I have five. Use two for me. Let's say that again. So is I have that, number five. You uh, would have number five. That's okay. correct. And I'll have number two then. Is that right? Yes. Um, which one do you have, John? <laughs> would I have number two and, and the gyms have number four? Uh, first? Uh, yes, you're going to have number two. Okay. That's fine. And Kathy's number three and Jim's. They're number four, and I'm number one. Or something. I, I'm asking question number one. This is like trying to line up cats. All right. That should take care of the questions that we need for tonight. Mr. Mayor, I don't mean to throw a wrench in this, but uh, just so you know, uh, Ms. Novak at 645 is also indicated interest in the Police Civil Service Commission. Right, but we already had questions for that. Right. Oh, oh so then we probably have to refer so, to some of the general questions. No, I believe when you had people the last time, you did that, both ask them each two questions. So just so you know that you'll be yes. doing both. Okay. And so she's at the end, so you will have time. There's no meeting after this. Okay. Okay. Oh, there he is. He's moved inside. Yes. And he's shaking his head, I'm sure. What are they doing? Well, it says, according to our schedule at 525, which was six minutes ago, that our first uh, scheduled uh, interview and or discussion was with uh, Tashar Desai, who's here. Do you want to come up, Tashar? Ready for the round robin. Yeah. Did you have uh, any turkey at your house recently? or No, no? turkeys, so okay. I'm safe. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. And as just a little background, Tashar, how long have you been on the Planning Commission? I've been serving since 2002, eight years. Okay. And unless I'm mistaken, you're currently the um, either the vice chair vice or... Vice chair. Okay. <clears throat> All right, mm -hmm. and so um, we uh, have some questions that are a little bit more geared sure. uh, as kind of a really a discussion to get your input on how things are going and so on and so forth. Sure. And so uh, without.